Hey butterflies, it's Michelle, the thin hair natural girl. Today, I'm going to be doing two styles that came from one twist out that came out so pretty and defined. Right now, I'm just showing you how the, some of the ends of my hair, well, of my twists are kind of thin. And that's just because when I had some issues with breakage, I cut it. So my hair is super uneven. But anyway, with this, these two styles that I'm going to be doing, my twist style came out so defined and I was loving it. But I call myself trying to do this high puff style that I got from my natural sisters who are they the mom. I love them. But my hair was just not having it. It was just a mess. So by the time I got aggravated enough, I ended up getting kind of close to it. But I had somewhere to go. So I ended up just going to my tuck and roll style, AKA the save the day hairstyle. I just pick my roots on out. Try that little thing in hell. <laughs> trying, trying to shake it. But anyway, um, one of the reasons why I was doing the high puff is because I loved it. I, you know, I saw it a long time ago when the video first came out. But a lot of times as a thin and fine hair natural a lot of times we watch these videos with these beautiful ladies on youtube with this luscious thick hair and then we try to do the same style and i has like no ma'am you know you tried it so i figured that i would try it so if you would like to see some videos of me trying out thick hair girl styles for thin girls Give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see how that goes. But I just put a couple bobby pins in my hair as I went around and tucked and rolled it. And what I do towards the top is with my last bobby pin, I just pin it in the ends of the roll I put to make it go like inside of the bang, if that makes sense. And then I just separated it a little bit more. And then on the ends of it, I put the curl maker, I think is what it's called, on it. I love that stuff. It's perfect for us thin girls because it gives hole and definition, but it don't make it your hair like heavy. And also, if you would like to see some of my favorite products as a thin natural, comment below or like subscribe whatever you want to do just show me some love child and I will post a video on that I just fix it up a little bit shape it on up make it work and there we go. Boom. Quick and easy. So this is what my hair looked like after I called myself. Coming back home, trying to puff again. I took out a lot of footage because the first time I was actually trying to do the puff. And that's why I went ahead and did my tuck and roll style. So I'm trying again when I got back home. And I just made a little headband with some elastic that I've had in my arts and crafts closet and sized it to my head put with a hot glue gun. Because a lot of times the store-bought headbands, they just don't fit. They're either too loose because my hair is so thin or they too tight because then you try to double it and then you have a headache all day. So... And I just put the headband on and pull out a few pieces. And at the end of the video, I'll insert a picture of my natural sister's 
with her beautiful puff and let me know if you think that I got at least close to it I like to think I did it was close enough for me I thought I was cute anyway <laughs> Just pull out a couple more pieces. And I know right now it looks kind of crazy, but at the end, I think it was kind of cute. Give it like a little messy look, but still cute at the same time. And I just take my pick and pick out my roots. I'm laughing at myself because that was just a mess. <laughs> then I just go through again and put some on my end. See that? It just makes your curls pop. It's popping. <laughs> I'm in a good mood right now, so excuse me. I'm just put some on. My little pieces that I left out. Fluff that mud a little bit more. Think I'm cute now. Nah, we getting somewhere. Just a few more last minute fluffing and that's about it stay tuned for more videos I will be uploading my three-year-old son Taj's dread or lock retwist for his first day at Head Start and also Nadia will be getting her hair straightened for third grade so thanks for watching